Nathan Asphodel, what a game that was out on the hour boards against Alan Sewer. Miles behind, playing well, but looked dead and buried. But as you always say, Nathan Aspinall finds a way. Yeah, I was I was seven three down, and I was kind of, am I playing well? Am I not? I, I couldn't figure it out, and uh, I walked off. Obviously, after ten legs, I had a break, and Martin, my manager, and, and Chris Dolby was there, and he's like, "You're playing well. You're averaging 97. Get a bit more aggression, and, and you'll be fine. You've got this." And uh, they kept saying to me, to be fair, the year that I won it, me, me second game, I was seven three down, and they came back to win. So they, they said that to me, and um, yeah, I got a bit of aggression, a bit more motivation. It's different playing out there. Like I've not played on them outside boards for a couple of years, and wow, it's so different. <laughs> But I, I really enjoyed the, the, the moment and uh, I dug deep, got it back to 7 all, and then Suter played well for a couple of legs and for all that hard work. Um, but yeah, 11 data to break him, great you know, great leg, held my throw and it's he's got the bigger knackers um, in, in the last leg and he didn't start off very well and I, I capitalised and um, there was a few people there from Stockport, I heard the Stockport chants and they got me through tonight, it was tough um, but you know sometimes you need a game like that to, to get you into a tournament and uh, she's very happy to come out the other, other end. Funny you should say that Adrian Lewis stood there 20 minutes ago and said exactly the same, he said he'd rather have oh. one of the big boys on the main stage yeah. than be on those outer boards. It's hard it's, you know, it's been a while since I played on outside boards and um, obviously so the the people that are cheering the particular player on are you know die-hard fans if they're coming on them outside boards watching you and uh, there's, a, there's you know there's a couple of suit of fans you know the Scottish allowed um, but you know fair play to to Alan you know when they were getting a bit too uh, loud, he, he, he was hushing him down. Uh, but it's just a great game of darts. Every time I play, Alan is a great game of darts. He's a credit to the game with what he does outside of darts. Um, but I was just happy to get my first win since uh, I won it. I was, I was about to come <laughs> on to that. When you're, seven, uh, when you're behind, like, uh, oh, are you thinking, oh, not again, not surely? Again. No, I've had some brutal draws, and tonight was a brutal draw in my eyes. You know, uh, Alan's a fantastic player. Um, and I'm like, okay, you know, I fancy the chances to win it, but it's, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, and I'm like, I've got to win a game, you know, I've not won a game. 2019 was the last time I won a game in the UK Open, and the uh, last time I won was was actually picking a trophy up. So, you know, I've been playing in my mind for years. I'm not going to lie, my manager's like, just, just get over this this hurdle. And, uh, yeah, I've won tonight, and uh, I'm buzzing, a great performance, and I can go home now and rest, and, uh, yeah, I'm in the fifth round. <laughs> the, um, the trendsetter as well, as we're going to call you from... Oh, do you like that? Yeah, I'm the trendsetter. Um, you touched on it last time, about the, the new dart. What, what, what have you changed? Because, obviously, you have everyone comment on your footwear and you're, yeah, you're yeah. like, but what about me darts? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, so uh, I've been working with Target, obviously my, my darts manufacturer and uh, basically I was playing well last year but I was having so many deflections and as everyone knows my darts are quite bulbous, yeah. quite thick. So we've took them in half a mil at the moment. Now, it might not sound a lot but it's a lot to, to, to a guy that plays darts every day so we took them in. I'm going to take them in a little bit more uh, at some point and we're trying to jazzy them up a little bit <laughs> um, for the... Uh, you know, for the people that want to buy them. But, um, yeah, I, I was talking about a bit thinner, uh, just hopefully to, to avoid them deflections and get my grouping a bit better. And I think it's working. You know, my 180s are probably better than they've, they've ever been. Um, doubles still need to work on, but, uh, yeah, I'm happy with my equipment. I'm happy with my game. I'm happy with everything. And uh, I'm in the fifth round for the first time since 2019. So uh, I'm going to have a good night's sleep. Well, great way to leave it, Nathan. Congratulations. Cheers, man. Cheers, man, mate.